Hi, Dr. Robin here. Today we're going to learn how to calculate two different quantities, molecular mass and mass percent. Molecular mass could be defined as the mass of one mole of a particular molecule. You could also call this the molar mass of that molecule. In fact, that's almost always how I will refer to it in class, but it differs a bit from the molar mass of an element because you actually have to calculate it. The molar mass of an element, you know, you can just find on the periodic table. So how do you calculate the molecular mass of a compound? First of all, you have to go through the molecular formula element by element and determine the mass of each element in one mole of that compound. Then you'll add up the masses of each element, which will give you the total molecular mass. Let me show you an example. We're going to find the molecular mass of carbon dioxide, or CO2. In the first step, we find the mass of each element in one mole of compound. Because there's only one carbon atom per CO2 molecule, each mole of CO2 will contain one mole of carbon. The molar mass of carbon is 12.011 grams per mole, which means that each mole of CO2 will contain 12.011 grams of carbon. The molecular formula tells us that there are two oxygen atoms per molecule of CO2, so each mole of CO2 will contain two moles of oxygen. Multiply the molar mass of oxygen, 15.999 grams per mole, and that tells us that each mole of CO2 will contain 31.998 grams of oxygen. The final step is to add up the masses that we calculated, these numbers right here, and that gives us a total of 44.009 grams. So the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44.009 grams per mole. You can use this process for any size of molecule. Here's a slightly larger one, potassium permanganate. We'll determine the mass element by element. The first element of the molecule is potassium, which we have one mole of. Multiply by the molar mass of 39.098 grams per mole, and we find that we have 39.098 grams of potassium. Similarly, we have one mole of manganese, which has a molar mass of 54.938 grams per mole. So we must have 54.938 grams of manganese in a mole of potassium permanganate. Finally, we have oxygen. This time we have four moles of oxygen, which has a molar mass of 15.999 grams per mole. That gives us 63.996 grams of oxygen in every mole of potassium permanganate. So now we can add up all of these elemental masses, these right here, and we find that the molecular mass of potassium permanganate is 158.032 grams per mole. The second topic of this video is a closely related calculation. We're going to talk about mass percent which when you have a whole bunch of mass percents of elements, sometimes would be referred to as percent composition. Mass percent is a way of telling us how much of a chemical component there is in something. Specifically, it's defined as the mass of whatever component you're talking about, divided by the total mass, multiplied by 100%. Mass percent is used for a lot of things, but in this video, we're specifically going to use it for elemental composition of a substance. First of all, let's talk about how you'd calculate the mass percent of each element from a molecular formula. If you think the first two steps here look familiar, you're right. You start out by calculating the molecular mass of the compound. But once you've done that, you're going to take the mass of each element, divide it by the molecular mass, and multiply it by 100% to turn it into a percent of the total molecular mass. As always, this will make more sense once we've actually put these steps into action. So let's try a few examples. First of all, let's calculate the mass percent for each element in water. Water is composed of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Step one tells us to determine the mass of each element in one mole of the compound. Our molecular formula tells us that each mole of water has two moles of hydrogen in it. So we're going to multiply those two moles of hydrogen by the molar mass, 1.008 grams per one mole of hydrogen, and that tells us that one mole of water contains 2.016 grams of hydrogen. Next, we have oxygen. There's only one mole of oxygen in each mole of water. We'll multiply that one mole by the molar mass, 15.999 grams per mole of oxygen. And that tells us that each mole of water contains 15.999 grams of oxygen. Now we find the molecular mass of the compound by adding up these numbers, which gives us 18.015 grams per mole. Now we get to calculate the mass percent of each element using that molecular mass. Starting with hydrogen, we divide the mass of hydrogen that we calculated earlier, 2.016 grams, by the molar mass, 18.015 grams, and multiply that by 
100%. And that tells us that 11.2% of the total mass of water is accounted for by hydrogen atoms. For oxygen, we divide 15.999 grams by 18.015 grams and multiply it by 100%, and we learn that 88.9% of the mass of water is made up of oxygen atoms. Let's do another example now, hydrogen peroxide. Like water, hydrogen peroxide is made up completely of hydrogen and oxygen, but it has a different molecular formula. Let's see what that does to our mass percents. We still have two moles of hydrogen, so just as before, we multiply by the molar mass and get 2.016 grams of hydrogen in every mole of hydrogen peroxide. But in this molecule, we have two moles of oxygen, and when we multiply that by our molar mass, we get 31.998 grams of oxygen in every mole of hydrogen peroxide. Now let's add those up, and we get a molecular mass of 34.014 grams. Let's now convert that into mass percents. Dividing the mass of hydrogen, 2.016 grams, by the molecular mass of 34.014 grams, and then converting it to a percent, we see that hydrogen peroxide is 5.9% hydrogen by mass. If we do the same calculation for oxygen, we discover that oxygen makes up 94.1% of the mass of hydrogen peroxide. So if you compare the results that we got from those two problems, you can see that even though both of these molecules are made up completely of hydrogen and oxygen, they have different compositions from a mass perspective. We can actually use that to determine the molecular formula of a compound, but that's the next video. Let's look at one more example before we wrap up, and for this I'm going back to potassium permanganate, which we calculated the molecular mass for earlier. So we've already done the first two steps here. Let's just do step three, where we convert the masses into mass percents. First, we do potassium, dividing 39.098 by a molecular mass of 158.032. Multiplying by 100% tells us that potassium permanganate is 24.7 potassium by mass. For manganese, we divide 54.938 grams by 100%, which gives us a mass percent of 34.8%. Finally, we have oxygen, which comprises 40.5% of the mass of potassium permanganate. Molecular mass, which is the molar mass of a compound, is something you'll be using an awful lot in chemistry. Mass percent is also used frequently to indicate compositions. We're going to use both of these in our next video, in which we talk about how to derive empirical and molecular formulas from information on the composition of a molecule. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.